Let's go! Double rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, I was, trying, I was waiting for you, and I'm like, come on, Pat. Let's make this quicker, quicker. As my arm is sitting in the pool of beer that I spilled right before this podcast started. Very classy. Yeah. You know, hey, it is if what it is. If you check on the S&P uh, Instagram page, you'll find the, the finished product of what, of what we... I'll take a picture. You know what? I'll throw it up now. I'll throw a picture of how my table is st- stacked for I mean, We have a black and tan that's not very tan. No. I, I wonder if that's... If those are just stage pictures, or if you ever actually had a black and tan, yeah, they usually are a little creamier looking. I think or maybe like the, maybe half and half. Maybe because we're not using harp, maybe harp is creamier. I don't know, but this definitely looks very dark. I don't think it goes to the tense of 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 creaminess. I think it's the I don't I think this the Guinness is supposed to be darker and hold the the lighter beer up top. Well, that's not happening. These are fully no, mixed. This is ridiculous. These are fully maybe, mixed. Maybe we just got garbage. I almost I almost swore. Maybe we just got garbage beers. But this blonde Blondinson's Pub Ale. I, you're right, it's smooth and creamy, so you're right. Maybe we just went the wrong way. I was trying to tell you, you did spill half of it on you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we did just go uh, a little too... too well, I think they're supposed to stay separated, and these are not separating at not all. Not at all. This is it's one big jumbo mess of a beer. Yeah. Um, so I was, when, I was, when I went to Benny's this, tonight, and I got there, and uh, I, I had just learned that the apartment I really wanted, I got to know. So I'm... Uh, steam is coming out of my ears right now and I'm just trying and you, to like, yeah you still didn't buy any Jaeger I appreciate that yeah I'm walking up I literally pet I grabbed the Guinness right away and I walked up and down up and down this aisle just contemplating screaming I was so pissed and there's a guy working there he's like he's just as mad as me but he just hates his job he's like I, I almost swore again he's like Ugh. Ooh, almost he's two like, and two minutes yes. he's like F this I hate this I, this is ridiculous then he gets out, like, and he's in the cooler. Just, I think he's just, he's tired. Somebody asked him about, like, Guinness Nitro, and he's like, we don't have it. And I was just like, oh, God. Oh, God. This guy's just mad at Sounds me. like someone's asking about, uh, where's Zach Splan is here, yeah. man? Mm. Uh. This, I cannot wait to get this beer done. I've never liked Guinness, really. This is not, it's not as bad as, you like, need a few, and it's not terrible. I wouldn't want to drink one more than one of these, though. No. No, no, no. What, what did we drink? We did, did we do the Bear Hugs? No, not last week. You had some. You had one of the Bulls game. I did have one of the Bulls game, but the tropi- oh, the trop- was it the tropical. You had the nine nine. Yes. You had, oh, you had a nineteen you know ounce nine point nine percent one. Oh yeah, oh <laughs> so good. But that's probably another reason I was hungover as balls on Sunday. It was miserable. We had we have we had a tax deadline this week. Uh, check out Deal on Tax and Accounting. They are a proud sponsor of this podcast. Um, are they really? Are they proud of it? <laughs> I think that you know what? That's a good question. We should ask the one member who is not uh, not here to help us. Um, but, so, I was, that was Sunday, I just kept thinking, this is miserable, this is miserable, I need to get through this. I had so much to do. My Monday, we worked till 2 in the morning because of how bad my Sunday was. Yikes. I slept, I went to bed Sunday at 8.45. Yeah, Sunday was, I went to bed pretty pretty early Sunday as well. Yeah. yeah. But I wasn't, I didn't feel that terrible Sunday. I still haven't caught up on sleep. Like, you, you do one or two nights of 2 in the mornings. Yeah, forget it. You and your whole week's shot. Yeah, for sure. You're never gonna catch up. I don't know if that's old man, if that's getting old manish or what. But I feel like I feel now that if I'm if I'm dehydrated in the day, like it really messes with me. I can, oh, I can feel it. I can dude, feel it. A uh, thousand percent feel you on that one. Uh, all day today while we're working, I am dying. We get the gallon of water, throw a little bit of the uh, bio steel in the in, in the water. <clears throat> I was wide awake on the ride home. It's like a recent thing. Like though, like if I, I realize like if I'm really sluggish in the morning, I'll do like I'll do like a bio steel. I'll chug a couple of bottles of water and I feel like instantly better. That's honestly what they say. You know what you're supposed to do? Take cold water. That was your cold water. But yeah, but like the colder water you do in the morning, the better it is for you because your body, it, it lowers your body, uh, body temperature and then that forces your body to wake up to uh, increase your body temperature. So your core temperature is, is decreased. So your body has to wake up, warm up and get you up. Uh, um, and that's a lot of people are supposed to, like right when you get out of bed, you're supposed to hit a uh, course light. Or a course, course light. light. <laughs> so is it a cold there we go. Hit that course light. It's, it's a Rocky Mountain cool. <laughs> it's like the lady, uh, the intervention lady, who uh, drinks a gallon of uh, wine a day. <laughs> intervention lady drinks a gallon of wine. Yeah, they did it um, intervention. They did. It was uh, intervention on a lady who drinks a gallon of wine a day. That's that's a lot of wine. That's an insane amount of wine. Yeah, that's a lot of wine. Um, is it like it's like a morning thing, or she spread it out throughout the day? I when I so my first job just shotgunning it right out the bat. No, I guess it wasn't my first job. One of my first real retail jobs was Bed Bath and Beyond. Hated it, absolutely hated it. There was a lady who worked. So there's two sides to to Bed Bath and Beyond. You either worked on the hardware side, which was like 
um, kitchen appliances, kitchen gadgets, candles. Like it was weird. And then the other side was was beds and sheets and, and the high pillows. Nice. Yeah, it was. And what the lady, the other lady on the other side, she was an alcoholic, and she they would find bottles, like spread across the the um Bed Bath and Beyond. So like they would find empty bottles where they find half filled bottles, and this lady would go around. And during the day, she would just she'd be folding like a bunch of blankets or um, pillows or pillowcases or something. She'd take a shot. This lady's not smart because what I, I saw a fact once that a a Trenta cup at the local Starbucks can hold a full bottle of wine. Really? So she could have just been rocking around that all day, rocking it. Never, nobody would have known. No difference. Could have called like a refresher. Um, yeah, no, they do have like those. Yeah, they have like red refreshers. Or I, but I'm, I wonder if she. Yeah, who knows? But uh, I actually I went to Starbucks on Tuesday. And they have a sweet cold brew, like a sweet honey cold brew, sweet vanilla. Dude, get out of here. The best. The best. You're you're the coffee connoisseur of, of the two of us here. I that's you guys are lucky not to be. Can we quick chime in, Joe? Joe, <laughs> any thoughts on the, on the coffee? Uh, this deal? is the P and P podcast today because uh, our gentlemen friends, ladies came first this night. You know. We got, left, we, we got left never from, let the women come first. We got left. Never. We got left from the trench taking hand grenades here. Yeah, you know what? But we're not going to disappoint our uh, PP ears, S and P peers, S and P peers, and let you guys down and miss a week of a podcast. Um, so you you're get, welcome. Yeah, you're well. First of all, you're welcome. Secondly, you're going to have two voices today, and that's it. So we're maybe gonna, one because nobody ever hear me anyways. <laughs> that the last one, holy sweet baby Ray. I'm we're working on it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it right for 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 you listeners out there, and we're gonna get to the videos and stuff going. So uh, we're on the YouTubes. We're on all streaming platforms. Now we just need to get the uh, the videos going. And uh, Chris has chimed in with a virtual belch uh, right now. <laughs> we should call Chris. He's on a uh, he's ladies and gentlemen. He's on a date, and uh, he's taking my advice for his date date spot again today. Oh. Pat, see Pat Lynch. Katrina better watch out because Pat's got all the date ideas. <laughs> they're all they're on the roll decks. Never gonna use them. Probably. Man's playing pool. I don't know how great of a date that is, but I never really liked that date. I guess it's you know it's it's they probably Southport Billards. That was was a jam. I used to do that a lot because at least it was like the lady was boring. At least there's something to do. You bowl. You play. Well, darts. I mean, it's not like it's not like the first date. So they, they they do know each other a little bit at this point. So, cause I see nothing wrong. So maybe it's maybe you know. with a little bump and grind. Yeah, I mean I've never seen Chris play pool. Wait, I mean, wait, did he play pool when we were at Brian's the one time? Nope, it was you, me, Brian. That's right. Yeah, he refused to play. That's right. I don't know if he refused. I think he was just being polite and let other people play. Well, it was, well, he refused when it was like three of us there. He's like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Um, in typical Chris McGraw fashion. But uh, always yeah. life for the party. The man knows how. Well, listen, Pat, he's good. If you know him, if you don't know him, you're not gonna get to know him. Which is all right. <laughs> which is okay. You did something. That works well for the dating thing, right? Like, if you, yeah. if you know him, you're good. If you don't know him, oh no, I'm sure he's different in with on well, dates. You hope at least. We hope so. Yeah. Well, for for Lady X's sake, we hope so. I don't know. Listen, I, I I'm gonna need somebody, to, a straggler. Like I need a, a always single guy who's gonna be be able to go out on a Saturday night. With you me, just so. gotta hope that someone gets divorced. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just wait out long enough, and then the guys start to get divorced, and then they're all gonna want to go out again. There you go. We so I was last night. I was in um, Lincoln Square. We went to a tap room there, and there were six guys around the table. Was it in the in the in the little slanty thing area? No, it was straight on. It's on Lincoln. Okay, so it's it's <laughs> yeah, and because um, there are a couple of bars in that little area too. Though. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, there was one over there too. Um, and so we're sitting there where we grabbed, I, you know, we were so excited for this apartment that we saw last night and we we're just talking about it and trying to figure out how we could convince this lady to let us have uh, a cat in this, in this apartment. And, um, there were six guys sitting at a table. This was like one of the cool, like cooler tap rooms. It was like, it would be like an awesome basement. And, uh, Lauren looked over and she's like, that's going to be your friends. And I was just like, I hope we're in a place where there's dancing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, it would look like a really, they were like having a good time. So at least, uh, the one guy's like, I'm sorry, I had to go to this kid's, my kid's basketball game. I would have been here sooner. You know, she had to have three kids and the last one's a basketball star. <laughs> That's like, buddy, you probably should hang out with your friend a little more. Kind of, you know, there's always a pullout method, buddy. Mm. Get the bisectomy, don't tell anybody. I don't know what's wrong. I just firing yeah. blanks after the second one. I don't know if you can do that, Pat. We've talked about this. You have to be in a committed relationship. Yeah, I've I'm, I'm committed it. to no longer having children in this relationship. <laughs> That's how STDs spread. 
That was the best story I heard this week. Well, if the, if the guy is, if the guy's, yeah. yeah. Anyways, we're not going to dive down that road. That's a weird, <laughs> that's a weird road to go down. <laughs> I was listening to uh, our boy Joey Diaz. He was telling this unbelievable uh, story. I, I was, I almost, I almost gave the classic Joey Diaz his signature line there, but I can't <laughs> give that for another. Uh, four minutes and ten and thirty seconds here. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, it's your first time listening. We have a swear jar. If you swear in the first fifteen minutes of the podcast, you have to take a sw- or you have to take a shot. And it is currently Jaeger free. Yes. Or I would swear. I would like. You ever see Demolition Man? And yeah. He goes, and, we're, we're trying, that, we're that, trying that, to. Yeah. Trying to get the toilet paper. Yeah. And I still don't understand the cheese styles. I would love for them to explain that one day. I don't think anybody understands it. I think it was yeah. just a point that it's like to mess with people. Yeah. That's like my it. that's my theory on it. Um, I love that movie so good because seashells seem like that'd be really rough on it. Any any way you want to any way you want to bake that out, that's not going to be good. Do you reuse the seashells? I don't know. Are there that many seashells that you that you can't reuse them? Yeah. There's so many questions on this. To, to, yeah. To, to, do you have to wash them afterwards? That's even weirder. <laughs> That'd be horrible. <laughs> or do you put them in a tray and then they get washed? They I mean, I've seen what Gavin and Chris do in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, I would not be washing anything after that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Poor, poor. That's another thing that's funny because so they were, we're looking at two bedrooms, two baths, and um, she's gonna get one bathroom. I'm gonna get that. She's like, "What do you mean?" I was like, "I want my own bathroom. <laughs> I, I need, I need it. Got to have it. <laughs> I don't like to share bathrooms. I like a personal bathroom." And why was you should just tell her that you don't want to share the bathroom with me in reality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you no. Tell her. No, I like. I've had my own bathroom since I was like. 12 years old except for recently when we had the remodeling yes of the, of and that was floor. miserable and that was the worst time of my life and I've no, I just like to have my own bathroom you know all my stuff how I want it my towels and no one else messing with it that's this is not you're not asking for much would you get the ensuite one or would you get the the, the I would one? take the smaller way you know it could be two blocks away I have to go to I'll take that one I, I literally go to the it's like we build one at Winnemac and we can, <laughs> you can go to there in the morning <laughs> If I could get on Higgins, that would be phenomenal. Um, that's where I want to be, but it's not working out very well at this point. Have you looked at the big complex they put in there? Yeah, twenty two hundred a month. Is it really? Yeah. You clearly don't qualify for the low income units. <laughs> yeah. No, unfortunately. Uh, no. Well, maybe soon enough. Um, my job's not looking great, so I could be. Uh, I could be. I could be low income coming up here shortly. Um, that's another story for another time, pal. Lynch. Wait, where are we going with this? Oh, Demolition Man, the sea swearing. The, the three seashells. Yes, the three seashells. Where did we go before that? <laughs> my brain is also, I, I, oh my God. So we're meeting with a new client on Tuesday. So awesome. <laughs> Sunday, hungover as absolute. Um, you didn't see that hungover. Oh, uh, miserable. Thank God I, then I hit it well because I was miserable. Yeah, you didn't look that bad. Yeah, great. Because my uncle probably killed me. I was miserable. So, maybe, maybe so, he could tell, but maybe I, yeah. you look the same to me. Sat, well, I always look like crap, right? Saturday, uh, Saturday we went, we went to the Bulls game. <laughs> we went to the Bulls game. Had a blast at the Bulls game. Um, we don't we, know, we don't know the secret of how of how our Bulls game. Yes, goes. We don't, yeah, we can't. can't <coughs> I'm sorry, secret. it's a, it's we have the best. It's a trade player. secret for, yes. for us poor us cheap guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, and I love it to death. Um, then we went to one of our favorite band or bands, bars, Bandit. Right, that was Bulls to Bandit right yep. away. We went right because we were trying to try to get there early, trying yes. to knock it out. Yep, get in there, and tried to go upstairs. The dude immediately told us, "No, no, we had we had conflicting reports." Yes, yeah. One guy was kind of a little bit nicer about it. The other guy was like, "You're not getting up here." So we're like, "All right, whatever." We're going in the basement. We're going down to the first. Got in there, had a blast. Pat and Brian were doing, sh- were were having a pissing contest, and we ended up taking Jay. And I shots. called his bluff, and I would call it again. <laughs> Just to see the look in his face when I hand him that shot. Yeah, that was worth it alone. Where did we go from Bandit? Did we go from, to Lone Wolf? From no, we did not go to Lone Wolf last last week. We went to. Are you sure? I'm 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 pretty positive. We we got out of we got out of, we got out of the West Loop area. We went to. We did not go to Enjoy. No, we did not go. Where did we go? Because we didn't go right to Debonair. No, we did not go right to Debonair. We went to. Shit, where did we go? This is not good for our memories. No, this is what then this bleeds into what my whole week has been. Well, you can continue. I'll think about it. Okay, so we go to the next bar, and then we went. To, and then me and Pat ended up at Debonair Social Club, hoping to get out of there. Maybe we did just go right to Debonair Social Club. Maybe because we, we did. Because remember, I think we were trying to leave, but we're like, where are we gonna go? This is probably the best spot at this point. I just don't remember. And then Chris, I know we didn't go to Lone Wolf. I know that yeah. for sure. And remember, the clocks changed on us. Too. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. You know, maybe that's what's killing me. Because okay, so so we went from we went from Bandit to De- Social or Debonair Social Club. Because Chris went home. Yeah. yeah, Chris and Pepsi we yeah. Chris and Pepsi went home, yeah, for sure. So yeah, we didn't go anywhere else. 
we maybe were there for 15 minutes. Clocks changed, kicked us out. And then me and Pat had an Uber, and the Uber, but there was a shooting. No, we were at Debonair for a while. We were there for like, we had at least a drink. I think it was an hour. Yeah, Yeah, maybe about an hour. Um, We come outside, block the streets blocked off because of a shooting, of course. Maybe, or or something else. We don't know for sure, but that's what it seemed like. Yeah. That that, that little stretch from Milwaukee is very notorious for that. Yeah, there's so many times that we've gotten lucky. We've left a little early or something, and that we didn't get into a situation. But um, Pat got to Uber. It was coming down. And so it had to do like this loop de loo weirdo. You like it was weird. I get it. Had another drop off yes. somewhere else. And then cr- he just missed Pat. And I'm chasing this guy for two blocks. That's right. You didn't chase the guy. You were uh, sprinting like the I wind. Was, I was like, come on. I want to go home. You were I knew. Sprinting I like the wind. And the mother canceled. You can, you can the start. motherfucker canceled yep, on us. That 15. mother. Fucking cocksucker cancel us. So we had to wait another 30 minutes. Yeah, it was cold. But, we, yes, it was full. Oh, God, was it fucking cold. But we did get home by 3.30, um, which is probably another reason I didn't feel great, is I got up at, by, I was up at 9. The, that, hour, that hour change was a killer in the oh, morning. Oh, fucking killing. I, I, that's, yeah. I, I was exhausted from the hour change that would kill yeah, yeah. me last oh, yeah. weekend. So then I got, so I got up at 9.30. We ran. And then I went to fucking, then we worked till fucking I don't know how 7. how the hell you guys fucking run in the morning when you're drinking all night I've, yeah I've, now you got dude you gotta get that shit out you gotta yeah, get that listen I tried I tried, I tried a little bit I tried the cardio before and yeah. it, just, it does not go well you gotta get, you gotta move you gotta move the, that the body. body's like what yeah. in the no. fuck are you thinking right now get that shit out of your system do you um, know what we did yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then worked fucking miserable came home went to bed right away Monday worked till 2 miserable so then Tuesday I had a, a meeting with a new client I go out there. So at this airport in Sugar Grove. <laughs> fucking hang. The hangar's beautiful. There's the biggest place I've ever seen in my entire life. It was awesome. I leave. Get back to my office, which is about 15 minutes away. Realize I fucking left my backpack with my laptop that I fucking need to do any work. So I had to come get back to my car, go all the way back there, get my, my backpack and come all the way back. That's not the first time. That was, I, my brain has been absolute shit this week. And I don't know, you know, it's I. And, but you know, actually thinking about it, it's got to be the daily savings to me. I remember. I, I know one thing I did do on the little, little, I haven't done it recently, but I did the ibuprofen before bed on the last Sunday. Oh, I did too. Oh, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't been doing that lately. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I've just been doing like a, I've been doing like a liquid IV before I go to bed. Oh no, liquid IV, two ibuprofens. Wake yeah, up. I've been skipping the ibuprofen. I did the ibuprofen last week and I, and I felt much better. Much better, yeah. Maybe I got to take a break off a little bit, but. Um, I mean, we're kind of screwed. We're not going to be drinking heavy till April, middle of April at this point. You know, it's crazy. They are the the AICPA is asking the IRS to to push the date still. How? Yeah. No chance. They want to. Fuck them. I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what, what are we doing here? No, like, it's, yeah. it's too late at this point to effectuate change like yeah. that. That would just be a nightmare. The software would have to be updated. It'd be a nightmare. You know what's crazy is the you know who's paying the most interest right now. The IRS, the Department of Treasury. Oh yeah, for sure. Insane all, because all these things that have been delayed. Yeah, yeah. For sure. You haven't gotten your refund. You're getting a nice. You're getting a nice interest check. Especially if and everybody has huge refunds. Yeah. Because there's so many things. It's ridiculous if you're a if you're a single mom like which I get, but the earned income credit plus all the check. People are getting like more money than they actually made in the year. Yeah. Like that's insane. For sure. Um, it, it makes you think about kids. Yeah. Not that much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Pat. If you're getting eleven grand, like that's uh, that that helps on. How much is it gonna cost you a year? What do you think it's costing you? Well, like, what do you think a kid costs? Daycare. A year? That's like a, that's like two months of daycare, probably two or three months of daycare. That's true. So, or you get a nanny. It's like fifty thousand a year. Yeah. So you're not making out good on that one. It looks yeah. good for like one month a year, and the rest of you're like, ugh. Yeah. I saw true. this thing on Reddit. I think the other day it was like it was, oh, like, it was, like, right t- was like talking about your confessions that she thinks and, like it's like I never wanted my kid. I hate my kid. I really hate my kid now. My wife wanted this kid, and I, I resent the kid for for making my wife uh, only about like the wife was obviously focused on the kid. So yeah. he, he was he's resentful of the wife for making him have the kid. Also, he's resentful of the kid for making for taking the wife's time away from him. I'm like, I think myself. This, this, guy, this, this yeah. is really selfish. Dude. Oh, this guy's a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'll be honest. <clears throat> but it's but it, but it, but if you don't want a kid, like that's like you probably you, you should have screamed it from the, the yeah. hills. I've never. I that's literally if you're going on dates. That's the, the, the that's the third or fourth date you have to say hey, I'm not sure about marriage and I damn sure don't want kids. Yeah. Um. It not that I couldn't grow into it. I think a and lot. She, it, it, and really, the girl's like Peter. It's been fun. Yeah. 
like it, but not <laughs> gonna work. <laughs> I'm like, that's okay, because three. I, I mean, I, kids really do add a whole first thing. date. You know, Peter, I'm thinking about having five, six kids. Peter's like, check it up, baby. Here we go. I'm out. <laughs> can you just pour that, that beer back into the bottle? Do you get a to-go? Can I get a to-go cup? Can I get one of those venti Starbucks cups, please? <laughs> no, no. And you could just pour hers back into a bottle? Yeah. Is that, is that I'm, possible? I'm, I'm taking her on straight, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm paying for it. She hasn't eaten it yet. I'm taking that, too. Oh, uh, Jesus. No. Yeah, no. That's a, that's always that's always a, that's a tough one, especially if you like somebody. And then you find out, like, they want, like, lots of kids. You're just like, oh. I can't imagine why anybody would. I can see like I can kind of see one. I can I, can, I kind of see two. Once they start a number of the parents, I don't understand the con. Like, why would you want to do that to yourself? At some point, there are going to be two kids at all times, like yeah. asking for something. It's just going to happen. It sounds like a horrible thing. I you know what I think I, I don't know maybe as you get older you get more you get more sentimental about life and leaving a legacy. But I just see life as is is a one shot, and I don't like a kid is like. That's everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I mean, if you if you that's all I'm saying. Like, I think if you, you have to be if, you're gonna, if, you, if you decide you're gonna have a kid, then you have to commit fully to taking care of that kid. Yeah. And if you don't want yeah. to do that, or you don't think you're ready for that, then you should not. Do then you're creating serial killers. And and how many how examples of that are like in the world that you've seen that like, people that shouldn't be parents? Yeah, Putin. Like that's probably he's probably been had some bad parents. Um, he's probably got like 15 illegitimate children, I'm guessing. Well, he had one one really hot supermodel one thingy. Do you know there's a supermodel in, in Russia? Who's can you imagine? Up? Can you imagine dating Putin's daughter? Can you imagine that? Like, no, it can't be good. Can you imagine? Like, there's, there's no way a, yeah. a you could ever break up with her. Yeah. And if she leaves you, you can't be a piece of shit about her leaving you. <laughs> you're either gonna get murdered. Like, anywhere you go, you're probably gonna get killed at some point. Yeah. Like, it ain't gonna go well. Um, to quote Dave Cost, you better make sure the fucking you're getting is where the fucking you're gonna get on that one. Um, there was a, there's a story of uh, the supermodel who was bad mouthing Putin, and she, they just found her body disappeared. Yeah, but terrible. The boyfriend. <coughs> Supposedly killed her, stuffed her in a suitcase, slept in the same hotel room with her dead body. And how much did Putin pay her? Yeah, pay him. Yeah. <laughs> or is he out of like where's he at now? Is he really in a, a jail or is he yeah. somewhere? He's, he's chilling with Putin in the Kremlin. Yeah, we got gas still. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, so there uh, there was a lot of ways I wanted to go with that one. with the kids thing. Um, I think maybe as you age, you like some people know right away they want to have kids, and I think some people grow into it. Maybe yeah, um, people change. People might yes. change. I think I think you need to really be real with yourself about it though. Yeah, it's, some, really it's something you can't like half-ass. No, you can't be kind of like. Eh, 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 no. No, you, well, you, you can't half-ass, to it. and then yeah. The problem is too is like like financially, it's really really expensive. Yeah, it is. Particularly a, now more than ever. I mean, yeah. college tuition's oh. outrageous. Oh, daycare outrageous. Daycare is insane now. Yeah, even probably, I don't think that was a big as big. I bet you. I bet you St. Pat's is probably close to twenty grand a year. Yeah, if I had to guess, I would bet it is. Yeah. I no, that's that's a complete guess. I'm, yeah. I'm, it was like it was like what ten when we were there, like the last year. Six. Hmm? I thought it was like I thought it was like ten, like close to ten our senior year. Wow, that's insane. That is absolutely insane for a private school. Wow. Um, okay. And then, oh, so then <coughs> go to back to Reddit. And this uh, lady, this chick. So this, you know, me like looking at apartments and and uh, possibly potentially having to look for a new job. Like financially, I've been really looking at like how things are going. And this Reddit really hit home. <laughs> this lady on Reddit makes one hundred twenty thousand dollars, and um, she lives. She spends four hundred twenty five dollars on rent. Where does she live? I I should I don't. It was another Reddit thing. Like they didn't really say what area they were in. Her. That's some dirt cheap rent. Yeah. Well, I think it's a bedroom in a <coughs> co op. Okay. Um, Still dirt cheap. Yeah. They didn't, she's not in New York City. No. <laughs> uh, her boyfriend makes fifty five thousand. He spends one hundred twenty on a luxury single part single bedroom or single apartment like one bedroom apartment yeah he wants they want to move in together she has kept her rent at she doesn't want to go up, uh, above 625 he wants so to, means that the full apartment would be 1200 roughly i think so yeah i, I don't even know if she was thinking 625 between the two of them <laughs> i don't know but she's we're saying, gonna get a room yeah, and we're gonna yeah. have a shared bathroom yeah with uh, everybody else on the floor uh, and then he wants to get a luxury spot Pay about a thousand and have her pay two thousand. This relationship sounds going to go really well. Going That's what I was thinking. Like, okay, first of all, you're not meant to be. Secondly, she's like, no, he's like, he, she's like, you're trying to spend my money, and he's like, you're putting money out of our relationship, and it's just like, this is where you cut it. Like, this is usually it. I would I would assume in this situation normally the roles would be reversed in this one, just like there. Are, I mean, there are guys that are who don't know how to save and would rather spend. True. 
So, but that put me in a situation where I was thinking about mine and like making sure, but then we looked it up. Like I looked it up, like what are you supposed to be spending close to on rent or like on living? It's supposed to be 30% of your income. And so currently I, I would be under that. So I'd feel pretty safe about it. Do some math. <laughs> Figure I, out where you're at. But yeah. And, and then like, so Reddit was right down the middle. Like some thought she, like they, I read Reddit was actually really common sense. Like you guys need to figure out how to make this, how to come compromise. Like. You don't have to, should have to spend more than you're comfortable with, but you should also, or, you know, maybe step it up to get it closer to what he wants and he should come down to what you want instead of w- both of you being kind of, um, I want it my way. And if you don't do it, you don't love me type of bullshit. Also, Pat, did you get, a, get a, an iPhone 13 there? Nope. This is the same 11 something that I got. Oh, you get the three cameras too? Yeah. This is like an 11. This is, when I first, this is the first one I had the three camera deal. I don't know if you saw, but, um, Apple came out with a green 13. For St. Paddy's yeah, Day. Yeah, I've, 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 uh, I'm going to wait for this one to die on me, which might happen sooner than later. Who knows? Uh, my uh, phone... What, what percentage do you have to be under your... Uh, under? You said... 30. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Cool. Yeah. Well, you don't have to be, but that's like that's yeah, a I'm, good I'm actually, way to spot. By myself, I'm under that, so so Katrina and I together are well yeah. under that. Yeah. No, I... Yeah, we would... That's what definitely. happens when you buy a house in 2018. Yeah, well... Or 17. <laughs> I mean, if you maybe bought three in 2013 and 14, you'd be even, even doing way better, Pat. I am doing well. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing terrific. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Mm. <sighs> this beer is garbage. I can't wait to switch to the Coors Light. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm looking forward to that Rocky Mountain ice refreshment, as Chris McGraw would say. You know what's funny? This is the fucking... N- Nitro Stout Smooth and Cream. All I gotta do is drop this on my uncle's house and I'll be really happy. I like that story that you told me that your uncle was looking to go to a bar. Yeah. That's my my 80 year old uncle was looking to go to the bar and say, Patrick's Day, calls my dad up. My dad's like, I'm working. Yeah. He's like, you know, he's like, so? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you, do you think he got there at the bar? No, because he has no concept of how to use Uber. Oh, okay. Because he, he doesn't have a cell phone. And you can't get, there's no more taxis. There's no more, and the best friend in the area, he lives in the same building Joe lives in, so there is no cabs over there. I wonder if Joe maybe took him. Or is Joe gone by then? I don't know if Joe's gone by then, but. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing Thursday. He couldn't be here. Um, we sometimes that third wall here. We'll we'll do a we'll do a Thursday podcast Good for our boys. I to that beer. Yeah, that was <laughs> garbage. We'll do it. You know, Joe's Joe's. You know, it's a very busy guy. Very we try to accommodate beer. other members yeah. of the team. Um, sometimes they still say, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> <laughs> but not me and Pat. We will be here for you if you like it or not. Um, did you? Did you? Are you? I'm guessing you didn't listen to the clip. The clip's pretty good. I did uh, Joe's uh, holiday stories. Yeah, I heard that one. Actually, yeah. I did. I did. I did listen to the clip. Yeah. Good job, Pat. Um, that you, used was... to, you used to let me know when the clip lot drops, so I could go listen. I feel bad. I don't want to be. T- I don't want to be bugging people. Um, okay, let's dive in. So this week too, there's a lot of sports stuff going on. Um, My favorite quarterback got traded. Oh yeah. So we can start with that. I do not understand what the Browns were thinking there. The to, to hire the garbage time man himself. I, that's fair. If you whatever you think of of uh, Watson. And his abilities, that's fair. If if you think he's an all star quarterback, that's fine. He is a he. I, you I, you have to be honest. He's he's a rapist. He puts women in sexual situations. Okay, maybe one, two, fine. Maybe they're just looking for a payday. The double 20, dose. Twenty. <laughs> Twenty. You are. Twenty two. Twenty two. You are a rapist, and there's no way he's not gonna. Dude, you don't just. You have. A, he has a fetish. He, there's no way he's not gonna. That's not gonna happen again. The NFL is gonna have to suspend him at some point. I'm assuming, right? They have to. Well, they, they should start now. They should. The, the Cleveland Browns need to get. Well, that's what they. That's what they. They went to say that yeah. was saw they traded for Jacoby Brissett to be his backup. Oh yeah. So they're kind of like protecting themselves a little bit. We're trying to. I'm not sure that's a good protection, but that's not a bad move. I'm trying to think who would be. You know, would be a better Ka- uh, Kaepernick. I know they wouldn't do that, but he would probably be just as. But he's yeah. been out for a while. He's been out for that's another thing about Watson. He didn't yeah. play last year. You don't know what he's gonna be like in a year, a year removed. Um, Can you just turn it on a year later? I don't know. Like, we'll find out. Yeah. Find, well, they need to get. I they mean, need they, to they, start they, the process. Let me ask now. you: You should give somebody two hundred thirty million dollars guaranteed when a they could be suspended for a year, yep. possibly or something, and you but know, and only, he hasn't played in a year. The only thing there though is his contract will move until he's he's so if he's suspended <clears> this year, he's not gonna it, it'll move to the next year. I, I guess yeah. you pay him a shit ton of money down the road for two years removed from playing yeah. football. When he's yeah. two years older and hasn't played, you hope that he can play at least be in the facilities and do it all the yeah, the reps know. and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's a crazy. I think it's a crazy move to give him that much money. The Browns. I mean, they're going <laughs> for it, and I don't think it's. I think it's, they're they're going for it, and they're hoping that he doesn't get suspended. Clearly, I know. I think they're expecting him to be suspended. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't Where know. Where do you long... think Baker's going to go? Has, has that been said? Uh, he, he wants to go to the Colts. Oh yeah. I don't know if the Colts are interested in him. I think the Colts are. I, I'm still going to stick with my Jimmy G to the Colts rumor, but yeah. but, I, but I'm, I'm leaning towards maybe San Francisco won't, won't trade Jimmy G till next year. Yeah. Or, or let him walk as a free agent after that. I think he's a free agent after next year. Why would you? Why if I'm if you're the 49ers, you have your guy in your way and you're fine. Let him let him continue to grow. Jimmy, you win. You win with Jimmy and, and G. The, and the players around Jimmy love him. Yeah. That's what that's what I mean, they always say. Like people really. Really love playing yeah. with them. That's what the issue with Wentz is. No yeah, one likes, nobody, nobody likes Wentz. Nobody likes Wentz. Because I, I saw this thing with uh, I forget the good thing like Cowherd on Cowherd. Right yeah, yeah. He was showing like, um, he was showing Jimmy G's or not Jimmy. He was showing like stats of quarterbacks and then like blind Wentz and then like blind guys. Like, yeah. And like Wentz had better stats I think than like Carr. I think he had better stats than who was the other guy he picked up. But yet, like other quarterbacks, that were like good quarterbacks. Like yeah. you, quarterbacks, you would think you you put those names out, then you like, oh yeah, that guy easily. Like Derek Carr or Carson Wentz, you rather have Carr, right? Yeah. But their stats are like very similar. Very similar. Okay. Yeah. And if, and, but like, but he's such a piece of shit evidently yeah. that nobody wants to deal with him. That's insane. Yeah. Because I mean, really, the team. Why don't you? And how did you like listen? <coughs> why doesn't somebody like pull him aside and be like, hey, you? I think they have. I think oh, people have. He's told just. Them. He's just he's I, I mean, he's but he's still a young man. You should be able to kind of learn. Hopefully, he's just difficult to whatever reason yeah. he's difficult to deal with. Um, okay, so that was one big. That's a big. That was a huge shocker. I think Watts or no, um, uh, what's his name from Seattle? What, Wilson. But I think that was. I think we talked about that last. Yeah, week. I think the biggest from this week was Adams going to Green, to the Raiders. That was another huge one. <laughs> but the what, what is Green Bay thinking? They have no receivers. Yes, but also like the so Bears receiver room looks better than theirs right now, and the Bears receiver room is well. We only have Mooney. Shit. We have Mooney. That's it. Like, they don't. But you're right. They don't have anybody. They don't have anybody. <laughs> yeah, but Mooney's we'll, Mooney would be the one on their team too right now. I don't know if you know this, but do you think this is a high draft class for receivers or no? I, I have don't, you heard anything about? I that? I think there are some. There's some good prospects. I mean, they obviously have a few picks to move up if they want a guy that can really get. Yeah. But I mean, rookie quarter, rookie receivers like it's kind of roll, you roll the dice sometimes. You yeah. get Justin Jefferson, or you get yeah guys you guys that you've probably never heard of anymore. Like a draft in the first round, like receiver, I mean, receivers a little hit and miss. I mean, lately I think with the rules, it's been easier for receivers to transition to the pros. Yes, because you get yeah, a lot of hand touching. Yeah, yeah, I mean Jamar Chase was a beast last year. Beast. And Jefferson was a beast with the year before that. Um, the you know, guy in um, some guys see, does the guy like, in uh, the, on the Colts he's a that rookie he's, he's, yeah, he took a couple years to get going too yeah. and, and Debo Samuel took a couple years yes. to get going he's a beast now too so I mean so the receivers it's like it's like they, I think by the third most of them say by the third year you know if receiver is going to be any good or not how about uh, Von Miller getting 160 to go to Buffalo, to the bill. Yeah. I mean, he's he's thirty two. Yeah, I mean, that's insane. I mean, he got like what well, he got like I think like sixty was guaranteed. Or 50, yeah, no, he, he fifty. Got a, got a large guarantee on that too. It's insane. Yeah, good for him. Well, good, no, honestly, good for him. But I don't remember him doing anything on the Broncos the last couple of years. And then yeah, everybody looks great with uh, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. He's got two rings though. Yes, he does. Yeah. Well, he he was the the one he created the, the first one. one he, the first yeah. one he was big help to yes. Peyton Manning get that second ring from. Aaron Donald was the big one on the second one. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting to see why wouldn't why wouldn't Houston think about uh, Baker unless they're just going to continue to I don't know if they're just tanking like I don't know what they're doing they they I saw something the other day that they traded like a seventh round pick for a linebacker that's been like hurt like it's missed like half like more like three quarters of the games he's played the last two that, years that's Lovey Smith for you no it's the G, that GM is like from New England I don't know oh, yeah. people are like people are like clearly he's thinking I don't know, I don't know what the hell he's thinking, thinking. yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't. I wonder. Like I, I don't think Lovey has a whole lot of control. I'm guessing in that organization. I, oh no, I gotta guess. Probably not. Yeah, you or, never know. Build that Lovie. defense, and then Mac went last week, so we talked about that. Uh, but that's okay. That's kind of so the Bears signed a guy that failed his physical, and they no longer signed him. Their top off season, so I guess they have more money to go sign the guy from uh, New Orleans that they took, choose to go that the, the lineman. Yeah, the lineman, which how, they can really use. Yeah, how old is he? I think he's like. I think he's around thirty. I don't know if he's plus or minus one day or the other. I think he's around thirty. Do you think Watson went to Cleveland <coughs> based on money only? Yeah, because he because wasn't in Atlanta for a long time. It was Atlanta, New Orleans. His final was were Atlanta, yeah. New Orleans. Panthers were a distant third, I think, yeah. and then the the Browns said they were out. Yeah, and all of a sudden they're back in. So I think if you that's look, when you know when they were out is when Baker asked for a trade. It's yeah, like, well, if people. you look at if you look at the teams though, I think Atlanta is or I think Cleveland is the best team of those groups. Yeah, right now. Well, they got a good receiver. They yeah. got good running backs. They yeah. got a defensive offense. They, good, they, got, they got a good defense. Yep. I think New Orleans has a lot of cap issues and guys that they get rid of, but they're not the worst team either to go to. I think Atlanta. Uh, Where is the guy Michael Thomas going to go? Has he been? I think he saw in New Orleans. Really? He's not going to go to. Still there. The thing about New Orleans is Kamara might get suspended because of 
What he did, yeah. Because of what he did in the yeah. Dre's nightclub. You know, Joe could be out there right now partying with, with him and getting, you know, but. Uh, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful out there, yeah. Um, Joe was at the clubs last night. Oomsa, 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 Joseph is in oomsa, Las Vegas oomsa, right now oomsa. with his fiance. Um, I'm not sure what they're, they're, they're seeing something out there. Tonight, yes. I don't recall what it was. Perhaps he never told us. It's possible. He'll fill you in down the road whenever he yeah, comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, his, on his month sabbatical here when he comes back, yeah. he'll let you know. He'll be back in July, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I know you're going to miss him. Um, uh, but I mean, I think... Because we, we, we at last Atlanta week, was interesting, too, because like, Atlanta delayed a bonus to to um, Ryan right. because they thought he was going to... They thought Watson was going there. Oh, man. And, then they, and that, now you got to be like, hey, Matt... Uh, we love you, Matt. You're looking good, baby. Come on. Well, he's only got one year left, so and and they're talking. I was thinking like he'd probably be close to retirement. No, with what Rogers just got. I think he's 30, 36, 37 right yeah. now. Yeah, you know he's he's one of those guys that's like he's good, but he's not great. Yeah, but he's very good. Like, I mean, he's been. He's been he, if he was on the Bears, he would have been like the franchise leader of every stat. Think of him on the Patriots. He would. He'd been phenomenal. Yeah, and he's yeah. no. He's a really good quarterback. Yeah, for sure. But now he's not, probably not as mobile. Yeah, he's, he was never mobile, mobile, but he's he's probably less mobile. He needs to have a lot of pieces around him now to succeed. Oh yeah, he's got to be like a Stafford. Where, where I was he, actually thinking about that. Where would he go? Where could he go? He's right got to be like a Stafford guy, where he could go. Yes. I, w- I would have said that he could have gone to um, either Pittsburgh or not a bad move. or Washington before the before That's the moves another they one. made. Pittsburgh got oh they got the, the truth. truth the truth yeah um, he could go to Seattle I guess they need a quarterback right. <laughs> I that's you could see Baker going. I you know I could actually see him. If they trade Jimmy G for like a one year deal, uh, you get you get Stafford because he's familiar with with Shanahan from their time there. What do you mean, Ellen, or uh, Ryan in yeah. San Francisco? Yeah, that I guess, wouldn't be. I could say for a one year deal, try to get him a Super Bowl, and then they hand it over to Lance. I could see yeah. that happening. That's not a bad move. The only problem is if you're Matt Ryan, you probably want to go to a place where you can you could cons- or succeed, and then I mean, get I think I think he might. I think Matt at his age, he might want the ring, and this he'll deal with it. Whatever it goes, wherever the chips fall next year. I mean, he, there's a lot of teams that, that he's a better quarterback than whoever's on the team. Yeah. Like, right now, he's a better quarterback than Justin Fields. Like, you don't know what Fields is. And he's probably better. He's better than anything that Carolina currently yeah, has. For sure. 100% better than Carolina. Yeah. But they wouldn't trade him in the division. I yeah, guess. Yeah. I mean, if you look at a lot of teams, like, I mean, Tennessee could use him. He'd be way better than whatever they got. than Tannehill. I don't know. Tannehill's got a lot of money. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm saying, though, like... Was if, Tannehill was in, in the... Or the Titans were with the, with the Watson trade, too, right? They were talking about it. No, they were talking about... They were, they were possible lending spot for, for Rodgers, they were talking about. Oh, I heard that Watson was possible, too. I didn't I didn't hear that one, but you yeah. could be right on that. I just think, like... I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not talking, like, money cap-wise, but I think, like, Ryan to the... Like, there, that'd be an upgrade over Tannehill, for sure. I, I think... I, I think we all think about... We see Tannehill as the Miami guy. He was... He's, not, he's not... He's just not good in, like... He's not going to win you games. Yeah. Ryan can win you a game. Maybe not all the games, but he could win you. He could be Stafford. That's true. He can be Stafford where he gets he gets on a roll. I feel like a so games. We're, we'll do this again on last year where we talked about first last to first and first to last. I, I definitely think this year is going to be a regression for the Titans. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. Henry's a year older. Yep, Deep he's hurt. Older. He was hurt. He was hurt. Uh, you know what? They got a good coach though. They got a good like yeah. what you need. You know, hoorah coach in the NFL. But that, that, I wonder how long that, <clears throat> that wears on you after time. Um, so we also have the MLB, but I don't think there's anything anything too crazy. Cubs oh. signed the, uh, <laughs> the Japanese Se- guy. Uh, Suzuki, possibly? Sp- 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 yeah, spent, <clears throat> spent $100 million in one day on him. Chris Bryant. Well, only 85 was, is going to him. Yeah. 100, 100, or, uh, Chris Bryant got 182. Over seven. Over seven. Which is almost men. a Jason Hayward contract. Yeah. It's a, Hayward got, what, 184 over eight? Yeah. Which is crazy to me because their resumes are so different. You know what I had a really good conversation <laughs> about with uh, about Freeman – Going and Freeman and Bryant, and how much better this guy thought Freeman was than Bryant, because Bryant is so inconsistent. Bryant's been hurting a lot, yeah, and he's not. When he, when he gets like some minor injuries, he's just not the same guy. Mm-hmm. Now, Granji, would I like to see him on the Cubs again? Yeah, hundred percent. I don't know why the Cubs couldn't. I mean, but why? if you, you know, the thing about the Cubs, like their their market, the market deals they offered Rizzo seventy over over five, yeah, which might be two years. He got thirty two over two for yep. the Yankees. So it's two million less, but he had you know three extra years. The Cubs were willing to give him. Yeah. The Baez deal, I still think it's crazy that someone gave him one hundred forty million dollars because he's not going to age well. No. He he strikes out yeah. way too much. His OB when your OBP is like twenty points higher than your batting average, you're not going to. That's not good. I love when people say stats like that. I have no, I have no clue. I don't even think about it. Like I I hear about it on the radio, the ba- on base percentage, the this the that. And it's just like I, mean, I, I I liked it when it was simple. I liked it when it was just the batting average. And, and and then let's the, talk about the bottom line with Javi is, is he, he a strikeout guy is he a walk guy or is he a hit guy the bottom line with Javi is he hits 290 right yeah. but he has like a 310 OBP which basically means that he is never walking yeah 
and he's just not going on base a lot if he doesn't get if he yeah. doesn't get a home run. And simply, if we would just say, the man either strikes out, home run. Yeah, he's not hitting. He's not walking. That's I think what, what's going to be really interesting to see is what the sh- if they if they I'm not sure the shift change goes in this year or next year. That's going to change a lot of these hitters. Oh like, yeah, like a Rizzo. Rizzo's, Rizzo's going to be a lot amazing. more, yeah. lot, a lot be like a lot more hits. Shorebrook a lot yeah. more hits. Guys like those, which is probably smart for him to take that two year contract. Wait yeah. for wait, show him that without the shift. But it'll be like thirty five. That's when he comes out. Yeah, that's true. He's but a, I mean, I I don't still I, I I but I had this conversation that Bryant should have the Cubs should have tried to. Over this Japanese guy, and none of there's only two guys who've ever come over from from uh, the Asian countries who've done well. And that's Ichiro and the guy in uh, in the, on the Angels. No, right? the, the Yankees guy was good, Matsui. He had he had some he had some good years. He had some decent years. He had a lot of good years. The, I mean, they've had some pictures that have come over that have done well too. Fuki Dilmu was exactly. terrible. Who's the other, the Chung Lee guy on first that the Cubs had? Oh, he, but he wasn't. He didn't come over from there. He was drafted to the Cubs. Oh yeah, yeah. He was a South Korean guy. And he was drafted here though. Yeah, so he stopped trading. Yeah. yeah, he stopped trading. But hey, all they traded him for Derek Lee, and that yeah. was a steal. Oh, and then what about the 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 guy Aramis on uh, the th- our third baseman? That was another we we yeah, him and Kenny Lofton we, for for, yes. like, for the guy that struck out like two hundred and twelve times in a year, and the, then Bobby Hill. We owe we still owe the Pirates some money for the all yeah. Jim yeah. Hendry. That was his best rape yeah. job of all time. Whatever he did in that trade, he forgot how to do going yeah. forward because he signed guys like Milton Bradley yes. and other than Cliff Floyd after He's that. He's in jail. Cliff Floyd is – Cliff Floyd was – Cliff Floyd was, was past his prime. Yeah. It was, it was, that it was, was Griff, right? Griff the – or no. no you're, thinking about, you're thinking of Fred McGriff. That was, yeah. good, that was a good pickup. Fred yeah. McGriff was a good pickup. I used to love that guy. I love how he – I love how the bat, the bat flip when he hit it, everything. That yeah. was so good. Um, and uh, left-handed killer. And that dude was like skinny as a rail. So you know yes. he wasn't on Roy's. He was just a like, great hitter. Yep. And you just don't have any of in that. Yeah. Is uh, Tatis has been signed yet or no? The guy from the Astros. I'm sorry, man. I'm not brave. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. He went to the Twins. He went to the Twins? Three years. I think it was like 100. He's making like the most money for like a, he's like a, it's a huge, huge per average thing, but he's only three years and he's an opt-out after the first two years. After both years. He got opt-out after, the, after this year and after the second year. Wow. So he, so he went to the Twins like it was like 115 over three or something. Like that. It was like 30 plus million a year he's getting. Good for the Twins to, but didn't the Twins trade a lot of people? No, they just traded four guys. Oh, really? The so they're are, really going. The Reds are the one that's getting rid of their whole team. They're basically like also a, a also, team also the well, my the boss is telling us they're looking to sell that team, so they're trying to clean up the balance sheet. Yeah, I mean, I don't and know then the Athletic A's are uh, well, they do what they always do. They're, they're selling out, and they're, yeah. they'll be good a couple years ago. Cause, yeah, because they know how to they know how to evaluate talent for what they get for guys. But that's crazy that they you know they just have no payroll. They just that, that owner just like here's what you can pray. All right, sell the, get everybody ready, get rid of everybody, and we'll do it again in a couple of years. I don't know. It's hard to be a, I mean, it's hard to be a fan for that team, right? Like, yeah. Well, they're going to go to Oakland soon. They're in Oakland. Um, geez, silly. They're going to go to uh, Las Vegas, and they'll make a little bit more money, and hopefully that... Yeah. Because they're not going to get a stadium. No. They've, they've been playing the same Coliseum forever now. The, uh, the, Bear, uh, um, the Bears have hired a bunch of architects and a bunch of stuff for Arlington, yeah. which I get it. I'm still not happy about it, but... Yeah, I mean, you talk about bare weather and bare advantage. Like how many games we won in the last thirty years? I just like to see. I like. I like that it's downtown. I like it's in Chicago. I'm a Chicago homer. I I'm born and raised. But if you look at that stadium, that's like it's a shit stadium. Yeah, it really is. No, it's, it is. it's a garbage stadium. Yeah, <laughs> compared to any other any other one in the NFL, it's a garbage stadium. Yeah, we have the third largest market and we have the smallest capacity. Yes, yes, we do. But I wish they could have done good, it. Good thinking ahead of time there when they when they redid that. Yeah, one. when they redid the stadium, it's silly. Um, just move the columns down the road or something. Save them. So okay, so that. Now we and then in the NHL the the, the Hawks got rid of uh, Sable, Hagel. or yeah, and that was a huge trade. That was a good deal for the Hawks. I think. I mean, it's, it's a good player, but they got yeah. two firsts for him. Yeah. They're a rebuilding team. Like it's crazy. But they did come out and say that's it. I kind of hope they don't trade Kane. I mean, little, little Homer in me wants to be yeah. Kane. And Taze is probably gone. I, but, think, I think Taze's contract is up soon. They're both up. Yeah, but they're, but they're going to try to. They're, they're, try they're to keep, thinking about trying to get rid of him in the, in the off season. They'll probably try to keep Kane. I'm yeah. guessing. But, and then the Bulls have lost eight of ten. They're, yeah. they're hurt though. They're, I feel like that team. No, I think they're more full. They're they're more of a yeah, but you just have, a fuller team than most. I did, they need Patrick Williams, but and they've not beaten a big team. They've not won yeah, not a big I mean, team. Lonzo, not Lonzo Ball not being there's hurt them not. I think that's true. But they're not. He's one of the guys that actually plays defense on the team. Yes, that's very true. You know what? I forgot about him. But they are missing out, or no? They've not beaten a, a team that's better, like a better ranked team. Yeah, they're, they're not. Yeah, they're yeah. They, because if they get Philadelphia the, at any point in the playoffs, oh, they're screwed. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, Joel Embiid. Yes. When he sees the Bulls on the schedule, he's like forty and like yeah. fucking fifteen. He, yeah, he's like, he, he, hold my hold my beer. Yeah. This is gonna be an easy day today because ain't nobody stopping him. Yeah. Who do they play? Vukovic is not as good. They played the done. Utah and the guy the 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 guy in Utah just destroys yeah. them. I feel like they I feel like they 
you know, I'm not sure what they can do in the offseason. I'm not sure what they, but they they seem like they're just like one guy away. There's something they're missing something. Who the Bears or the Bulls? Yeah, I really like the rookie they got. The rookie, the backup yeah. they got that. I like him a lot. The AO guy. Yeah, I, Patrick Williams could be the guy who's going to help on this trade. Yeah. But it's also I'm I'm very glad they didn't try to mortgage for this season. Like it wasn't the right move, and I think maybe they, yeah. they, they, it looks like they understood I mean, that they're going to make the playoffs for sure. Yeah, and they're gonna they're they're, they're holding on to the fifth. It's nice for them to be competitive for a change. Yeah, like. Um, why don't we pull up the standings for so again the Saturday Night Pre-Game podcast did a NCAA tournament you just want to bring it up because you know that I'm currently in 19 <laughs> what Pat oh where yet but uh, for the for the potential point total yeah. I am still up there baby you know what sucks I hate looking at it I just absolutely hate it alright Pat you're going to have to hold down the fort while well, I use the washroom really quickly or I'm going to pee my pants hold do it fort. come on Pat we got a one person show here yeah let's do it We'll go down some We'll go down some standings here for for all of you as for all you S and P peers at home. You know, as soon as I can manage to get this bracket going. So big Mike McGraw leading off. Peter McGraw's tied big Mike at this point. How about that, Keith? Uh, I'm not sure who Keith is. Uh, maybe he's an S and P peer. Keith, you're doing pretty well so far up in the 30th, but you only got a potential of 132. So clearly, some of you uh, you had Baylor going pretty far there. Uh, you know, myself, I am. Uh, I'm still pretty far down. Oh, I, hey, I've passed Joe, the lock of the century, Keneally today. How about that? And I still have, oh, I have the highest point potential of anybody in the bracket currently. So how about that, S&P peers? Joe, only 137. The other Chris, 131. Zechariah, 139. Gavin, who's Kid rocking at 159. Robert at 96. Lauren at 110. Who's the low person? It is Lauren. Oh, poor Lauren. Lauren has the lowest potential points so far. <laughs> Way to go, kid. Way to go. I currently have the highest potential points of anybody. Yeah. Where, where am I at? Uh... You're, tied, you're tied with Big Mike McGraw. You, no. you both have 30 points right now, and you have both have a potential of 162. So I'm guessing your guys' brackets are very similar. I currently in 19th place, 18th place now. I passed Joe Keneally. Oh, nice. Uh, I have 24 points, but I have a potential of 170. And that's the highest potential. What, so what is my potential? Oh, no, sorry. I'm sorry. Patrick's Cubbies has a 171 potential. Oh, yeah? Uh, is that a good... A that's good the highest. Pat, oh. Pepsi's the highest. I'm the second highest. You're at 162, and Big Bucks at 162. The guy, the, the other guy tied with you at 30 points, currently Keith, who may be an S&P peer, I'm guessing. Oh, uh, yeah. He's at 132. Okay. That potential, currently. Uh, so then, I, then, I, then I, Chris I, has got a 159, who's not here right so now. So there's a lot of, a lot, lot, lot of movement. A lot, a lot of potential... Ups and downs here, so we'll, we'll, you know we'll see how this plays out. But I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. S and P peers, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but it's exciting. We had 20 people this year, and I we're, the starting the week at Monday we had about seven people. We have 19 because Dylan decided uh, not to put. A come on, in. Dylan. I I hope you're a listener because we are gonna rag you like a pansy that you are. You're He's scared. S W T N underscore Dylan is his name. You're better than that, Dylan. You're better than that. You could have. You could have. I mean, there's a prize packet online. A free prize packet. That you still haven't designed yet, right? No, nope, it's working on it. Okay. I'm. I have. I have some ideas. Um, they're formulating gonna, formulate them around. It's gonna. It's gonna happen. Um, Let them simmer a little bit. I've watched none of this though. I feel bad. Like I, I haven't watched a minute of a game. No, not a second. Not. What's well, funny? My my boss who doesn't do anything with sports. Yeah. Like I don't think I've ever had a conversation. She's talking to me for a good half an hour of the day about about her bracket in this, and evidently she's like super into the brackets. Yeah. She, would have you could have if I could have guessed anybody that would have not been in these yeah. brackets would have been my pregnant boss who has a, a two year old running around her house. That's insane. She um, is she is all about the NCAA tournaments, which is which is crazy. I, I you know it's it's kind of killing me. Is I'm so busy lately. I've not jumped into any like I used to be. I need to get more back into listening to the radio of like sports radio. It's all Bears draft right now. Is also going to be. It's so it's so annoying. I hate. A few, they have a few second round picks now. Yeah, we got a few more draft picks. Yes. What do they? Who do they trade? Well, oh, Mac. Sorry, yeah, Mac, they got yeah. Mac. Yeah. Um, which I thought. That, gonna, which I thought they should have got a little bit more in the, yes. in the next year. I feel like it could have been a contingent draft check if he gets like goes off and gets twelve sacks. We got it's like a fourth rounder. Yeah. No, sack. I get it. Um, and especially what Von Miller got. Come he on, got, Ryan, baby. Come on, Ryan. Um, that's funny. It's still Ryan. But no, Don't be like the other Ryan. Come on now. <laughs> well, especially what Von Miller got. Like, Max, I'm a way better player than But Max would hurt. That's a, they, they sold him. They, they traded Mac at his probably worst value. Yeah. Well, but you you don't know that. It no, but, but I'm, I'm saying, like, yeah. if you look at his last, he's been, he was hurt in the last year. He's yep. hurt a little bit the year before. Like, this is the worst. This is his lowest value currently. Yeah. 
And if he comes back and he's if you trade dominant, him after the, if you trade him after the Packers game on his first night, like yeah. like you probably get like three first yeah. rounders. <laughs> but and we never know because he's going to be opposite side of. But he was also opposite side of Quinn. So well, we'll both, see. Uh, both sides. I think they they play a four three there. They play a three four. I think they do a four three. In, in the yeah. Game. So I'm not sure he's going to be deal if he's going to be on the on the on the line this in, in as much, huh? Playing more out. I mean, he did play on the line, and, and even with our three with our three four here, he's mm-hmm. he was he was definitely in the stance. Um. That's yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. So, but he's with, he's on the opposite side. I mean, of the, the probably if you, I don't know if you watched the Chargers games last year, the biggest problem the Chargers was not necessarily rushing the passer. No, it was the run. They could not stop the run to save their life. Yeah, they were he getting, needed a keen in the middle there. They were getting gashed. Or Eddie Goldman. They were. Getting, I mean, there. they were getting gashed hard, and they and the Bears signed the guy that was in the middle of that lineup. So that's as a backup for the guy that they the pad that failed the failed the physical. So yeah. that's good. Oh, that's awesome. We're looking good. Well, no, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a massive rebuild. Oh, I, the Bears could be worse than the Lions here. I could. I, you know about teams that go from like. Bad to work. Like the Bears could be the bottom of that division, which is fine. I could easily see them being worse. Than I that. also hate that the, the just. I still don't like the the set, this first round pick that we gave for Fields, but that's near though here. Um, I mean, it feel it, it feel the, for the Bears not to be the worst team in the division. The Fields got to to take a step forward, like a yeah. big step forward. But he also needs protection, and he's got no one to throw. Yeah, he's got to show that he's a he's a legit quarterback. Did you did what's his face? Juju went to uh, went to yeah, Kansas City. City for ten million. That's insane to me. But he wasn't any. He was never good after Brown left. No, he wasn't. But, yeah. but now he's got Terry Kill, so he could be very good. Yeah, he needed. He needs the, he not could, to be the focus. He could be the two, the number two guy that, that tears it up again. Um, no, that's exactly it. Um, and but and that's why that's why uh, Oakland had to go and get Devontae Adams. Yeah, they need firepower. I mean, that's there. That, that that division's ridiculous. It's insane. Yeah, but I mean, with, you think with uh, Wilson and. Herbert and Herbert. Mahomes. And yeah. Carr's like a. I would, I would consider Carr to be an above average quarterback, yeah. and he's by far the worst player in that division. I would, if I was, if I was anybody in that, any quarterback in the division, and you had the opportunity to leave, I'd go somewhere easier. I mean, the nice thing about the nice thing about now is, I mean, they Atlanta or the Atlanta, but the Raiders have some good weapons. I mean, Devontae that show, you know, Weller's not going to get double covered anymore. Yeah, Renfro is not getting double covered. Yeah, that would be great outside. last year. Like, that, gonna, that that was my second. That was my second pick for second round pick for each. I mean, you could see that. I mean, that offense has a with with him. Even if he doesn't put up the numbers he put in Green Bay, him being on the field is gonna is gonna help that offense. Um, yeah. This but we'll see. It's gonna be fun. I mean, it sucks that we're. I think, I think that division. We need to we need to talk about baseball, Pat. We need to be talking about the summer. I'm I think that, we need I'm to saying, I think that stop talking about football. that division. I think it's gonna come down to like what team can stay healthiest because any team that's a key injury, like that's gonna be what what sinks a team in that division. I I believe it. I, I can see. I can see. I think you're gonna have two playoff teams on the other division still, because the AFC's got a lot of good teams in it. Yeah, we'll see. I think it's like the the you know how the West used to be the best in the NBA. Now the East is. Yeah. I think the AFC is gonna be the most. Still, it's continue to be the most dominant. Yeah, the, the AFC's got the. I'm saying, but there's a lot of good teams. Like, and I think I, get, I don't see more than two teams coming to the playoffs out of the division still. No. No, that's true. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a really. Interesting you know thing, what? So. That, it's funny because you're right. We were just talking about um, uh, Patrick Mahomes. You would think he'd have more than he should have probably have more than one Super Bowl at this point. Yeah, he's been. He's, 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 been, he's, he's been in two or three now. He's been in two. Yeah, he won, he won, he won one. one. Yeah. and he lost one to Tampa, right? Yeah, he lost yeah, to, cause the, cause to Brady because the, the guy he got killed. This line, the D, the Tampa defense just murdered him that game. Just yeah. Oh. And and he was still he was still balling out. No, yeah, yeah, he still almost won the game. And the Bills, ma, the Bills need to they need to figure their they need to figure this out before. Yeah, because they're about to have to pay. No, they already paid him. Oh, did they? They paid him a huge money. Oh no, you're right. They did last year. Allen got paid a yeah. ton of money. That's insane. I saw a stat that like I think it said if a quarterback is counting for more than like fifty percent of your cap, no team's ever won a Super Bowl. Which means that like once you pay the quarterback, like you never win again. No, yeah. Well, think about it. that's hundred percent true. Yeah. As soon as you pay your quarterback, you're done. Which is the, the, cap, the cap going up this year is going to help, I think, teams. But yeah, um, it's a, it involved a little bit. Yeah, well, yeah, especially because it went down from the prior year with COVID. Now it's that's why people should probably think like if they know that the cap's gonna, if they can figure out when the cap's gonna go up, and you got your quarterback, try to pay him early. So well, that, yeah, I mean they try so to that pay you're, the, yeah. yeah they try to pay these guys early before the market resets too. Every every new guy's a bigger deal and like Watson just killed everybody. Like so, Justin Herbert's gonna get up what two fifty. He could. Yeah, he's, he'd he's, have he's to. Way, to me, he's better than than her than than Watson. Exactly. So you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to do that. Yeah. That's and but then there goes the Chargers. Well, because you, you got Joey Bosa, you, you got Michael Williams, you got you, their, you, you have to if you want to have a big. You got the guy who took over Hermelo Gordon. You got to draft. You got to draft well. Is what you got to do. 
That's you know, yeah, you know what somebody did say an agent said that draft better. Yeah. In our head like, yeah. If, but it's hard to draft. You get cheap guys on the draft for a few years, like you've got to draft well. And you gotta know which guys are gonna are gonna age well and you get the deals to. You know, some guys don't age well. They sometimes they peak by like thirty, you know, and they're no good anymore. Um <laughs> uh, dude, here's a funny story. I just read a New York man rescued twice in two days on Arizona hikes. That's insane. So a guy in Arizona going for going for hikes had to be rescued. No. Now, it can't happen the second time, guys. Can, I, I'll be really fine. I'll happen. figure this out. And uh, no, this idiot decided that in Flagstaff, Arizona, which I know a guy who owns a, a cabin out in Flagstaff, and it is insanely remote. This man decided he was going to not once, but twice try it. He, unex, unexperienced, goes out for a hike, gets lost. Okay, well, listen, you know, call it a day, bud. You're from New York City. No, this idiot decides to go out the next day and gets lost again. What are we doing? And also, why are we getting off the, off the, off the, the, the beaten track? But then again, <laughs> this my, I, we live in the city, and this one time... <laughs> We went for a run, and it was on it was on a it was on a river, like a river kind of bed in this forest. But it is surrounded by city. Also, you can hear the highway in there, but you are in the forest. And I took us off a beaten track, just because there was a, a side kind of like hidden round. I'm like, oh, this seems like cool, which ended us up in this absolute swamp that, and you could hear the city, the cars, everything else. We had no idea how to get out of it. And without having to go through like the thickest brush ever, and, and then or going through water, it was actually kind of it was a little and it was kind of getting dark, so it was kind of getting a little terrifying. This is how you lost. You're gonna eat Pepsi when you lost in the plains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and I, I was honestly getting a little nervous. I'm like, this is. And then you start to panic a little bit, so I can understand. You this try, guy's in flex Trying to figure out how to get the how to how, how do you start a fire from two sticks again? I it was. I, thank God, Chris is like, all right. Takes his takes his cell phone. GPS is where we're at, and we walk literally walk right out. And so like, basically, without Chris, you'd have been dead. You're trying to tell me. Yeah, I would have freaked out. I would have lived there. I'd I probably be there. I live here now. I live here. This is right. And <laughs> I would have started building a little hut. Um, that brings me to another story. When me and Chris were Boy Scouts. We we were like, Chris was Chris growing up was a little lazy, and I wasn't that great either. But Chris was very lazy, especially when it came to Boy Scouts. And we were in wilderness survival. And we had to build a. We had to stay out at night. Out in this outside, in the in like a, a homemade shelter. And they showed us like you make like a teepee around the tree. You take some long stick branches. Oh, I, I would have loved to see this teepee. <laughs> oh. So me and Chris, take, we literally take about twenty minutes to do this. We build a nice little thing. Everybody else is taking a lot longer. Me and Chris are like we're down, we're going. And I'm, Chris is like we're down, let's go. And I'm like, man, I'm like I don't know, Chris. I don't know. Okay, all right, you're the older brother. Let's go. These idiots, these jerks, other Boy Scouts, you're supposed to be, you know, good good Samaritan, started taking our tree limbs, like our long sticks, because we built this thing, our long sticks, and put it on theirs. And so Where did you like, guys go? Go to McDonald's? Get no, no, because we, we, we had to come back at night to sleep there. We built it, and then we come back at night to sleep in it. So you, you get there, and it's like, it's, it's like there's more windows than I remember putting in, okay? That's all I'm saying. And I was pissed. It's very breezy in here. Yeah. Hey, thank you. I thought we're all Boy Scouts out here. No. So we get in there. We're having a good time. We, we're, we, like, we're, we're around this circled tree. It's breezy as all can be. I, I, sh- I shit you not. It's 100 degrees at, at 9 o'clock at night. So, you, so the breezy's helping you. Oh, it's helping yeah, these idiots who have very thick high in there. They're dying. There's kids. There's probably a kid who died. I'm not even kidding. I don't know. What is that thing in like the when you go in like the the like the desert and they do like the like the Indian thing? Yeah, yeah. it's called like I don't remember what it's called, but that's, that's what they're doing in the other other tents. Yes, where they're smoking the the heat. Yeah, but it's tent. really hot though. It's yeah, like, it's really hot in there. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly. I have no idea what it's called. So but me and Chris are playing cards, and I'm so like, that's what we need Chris for. He would yeah, yeah, answer. Yeah, a hundred percent. You know, Joe or Chris. Somebody. I don't think Joe know that. Chris um, got it. Chris got it. We're hitting the cards. So we're playing cards. We're playing rum 21, whatever. It's like 10 o'clock. We're like, all right, we should go to sleep. We literally probably got to sleep for about maybe 45 minutes. It was hot as balls. Like, we're sweating. Where is this at? Is this like... In, in Michigan, in a, a Boy Scout camp. Okay. And, uh... Is this, yes. Did the, did the counselor want you guys to take like shirts off? It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> no, it wasn't that type of camp. Thank God. So, um... And we're, we're, it's literally like 
ten forty five, and we and Chris are just sitting there. We're just, we just we're just sweating, and the 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 counselor, the, like the guy around came, like the the guy who was like the counselor who was supposed to be there for the night too. We made his own little place. Comes around, was like, guys, go home. Like, go back to your tents. This is too hot for you guys to be out out in the outdoors. So, these idiots who spent hours on there lean twos and whatever lone survival crap um they you know we we all got the same thing we all we all su- successfully passed the night and we all got to leave did so you, i always felt did like you get, you got your badge yeah definitely got the badge so i always felt very good like oh yeah you want to steal from us listen we didn't even need it buddy um but that always i'll never forget that night i remember thinking all right let's go to bed we go to bed and we woke up like 45 minutes later like how am i gonna sleep in this this is insane yeah do we have any good feel good stories this week Feel good, sir. I listen. I wasn't done with the uh, with the the random. Um, oh, you want? We got some other things are going down. I got I got some random. I got some random stuff here. Uh, oh, did you hear? This one was crazy. I thought uh, New Jersey, with not New Jersey, <coughs> New Hampshire, tried to uh, succeed from the United States. Nice. Yeah. How that work out for them? Uh, I didn't. They, they, it was rejected by the uh, their, their whatever. They their, put a vote for it. Yeah, the New York, New Hampshire house overwhelmingly. I wasn't, I wasn't aware New, New New Hampshire has such a robust economic thing that they can handle themselves with. Themselves. Yeah, or wanting to. Get, I mean, what, what, what's wrong in New Hampshire? I think actually New Hampshire is supposed to be very um, libertarian. Yeah, well, they are the they're the they are the aren't they the give give me liberty or give me death one? No, That's the state motto. You know, what Delaware is the first like on their license plate. It's the first state. Um, I, I didn't know a pencil. I didn't know the the. Pennsylvania's for lovers, or something which Vermont's for Virginia's for lovers, Virginia's for lovers. Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, Indiana boy rescued after getting stuck in tree, rescuing cat. <laughs> Cat's probably down, chilling, looking to be yeah. a moron. No, uh, he he actually went and got him help. Um, wow. Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually really upset at cats right now. Um, yeah, it's live for your die is. Yeah, is that well? That makes sense. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> What's the last one? Oh, there's a at, at one of the borders, authorities find fifty two reptiles hidden in man's clothes. Like we talking snakes? Or we oh talking? yeah. They're all snakes. Like this is ridiculous. What is wrong with people? Like I just We're trying to sneak snakes into this in the country? Oh and and little like lizard thingies. Yeah. Lizard thingies. Yeah, so he had like probably a huge trench coat. Is that a technical term? Yes, little lizard thingies. It's ninety five degrees out here and you got a <laughs> trench coat on. Something's a little weird. <laughs> That's his ass. Like, like, 52 reptiles in a guy's clothing. Yeah. How are you not scared you're going to get you're gonna get bit I know, I know Chris McGraw would not have one snake in his, his, yeah. his thing. Oh, man. He he does not like snakes. I never saw Chris McGraw. I mean, when we saw that, we, we had a snake on one of our properties there. We were working on a little snake got caught on the door we were trying to change. I knew Chris McGraw turned white, whiter than me, ghost white, and jumped back like three feet. And I'm like, what? This is a little gardener snake. Like, <laughs> like, no, 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 I'm good. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. But I just think, can you think? About how um, fifty-two reptiles like that's so ballsy. That's a lot. Like maybe hide one, buddy. I saw a day later the day about this guy that got killed in a was yes. Snake couch, face, snake and face. they thought it was the anaconda. No, no, they got yeah, shot. Well, no, they really yeah. got shot. Right well, yeah, but like the they they, they was, tried to blame it on the yeah. anaconda. Who actually? It was the anaconda. It was the knife, but it was the was knife. it? No, no, it was the wife. It was the wife who caused, caused it. Yeah, the wife. Oh, had, did I not finish the, that one? Maybe the wife brought some dude in and the they they they. They, he said that she shot her. She said that he shot her. Oh, I didn't end that one yet. I haven't finished that one. No, Son of a gun. That's what just happened. Damn it. it was that was a pretty good one to start. My wife's in jail. <laughs> and the other guy's in jail. <coughs> and uh, the other guy's dead. Okay. That's kind of crazy. Um, there was another uh, kind of sad one. Was the This one was pretty crazy. Actually, it wasn't a dateline. It was uh, this guy. He was kind of a douche on, but he owned an auto company. And it was very successful. But he was like kind of an ass. <clears throat> and then he he met his he met his receptionist. Him and his receptionist got uh, married. And Always like, a good choice. Oh well, th- he wasn't married before that, but they met. And they like he, she supposedly was really good for him. Like she kind of toned him down, but <clears throat> he got into steroids. And uh, they thought maybe his steroid use, uh, like his, like drug dealing steroids, got him in trouble. It actually ended up being, and it was the the name of it was Joe Keneally, or not Keneally. It was no Y. It was like Connell. Connell. That's how you Joe, said yeah. yeah. Joe Connell. And uh, the curious case of Joe Connell. And um, so yeah, so Joe Connell, and it was his business partner, hmm. who was uh, opiate uh, addicted, and uh, he to clear his debt, he hired his drug dealer and his drug dealer's buddy to kill his, bought his uh, the, this guy Joe Keneally. 
and uh, he tried to blame it on either a the steroids or his. his uh, that reminds me. I saw this one. It wasn't a daylight. It was something else. It was like this family in California. It was like a wife, a husband, and two kids. And like they like they just kind of disappeared one day. Like they went to their house, and it was like it was like like they literally just like got up and like left. Like we like our table here, but like everything was on the table. The food was there. Oh yeah, no, I did. They, they thought that they saw them like crossing the border in Mexico, and there was like a really oh mystery. yeah yeah yeah. And it turned out to be the guy's business partner. Like that had a murder, and the family yeah. murdered. Yeah, and then and like but they did see like <coughs> they did something. <coughs> he did go to Mexico or something, right? Well, I think he went at some point, but it wasn't like that. Yeah. It was not the same people that crossed the border that, that, that they saw. Um, have you have you finished The Sopranos yet? No, I'm in the I'm, season. I I I want to get it done because the 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 how movie, far are you into it? I think the sixth season too. Well, um, what's the Phil guy? The the new boss. Yeah, he had the, he had the heart attack. Oh, I I'm, I just got where Tony got shot. Oh, so and then I was where I, I, like once like, I, like by his uncle, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you were a little bit. Ahead I, of I got it where he came out of the where he came out of the coma and stuff. Because <clears throat> he was in a coma. For yes, a time. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he almost walked into the light yeah. with uh, Steve Buscetti. That That's was, a good part. That was a that was a really weird. One. Oh no, so, yeah, all that that for a while. The, the, the dream, the dream stuff. scene. I didn't like that either. Um, but I I watched. I unfortunately caught one clip of of. The I, movie. I did a lot of damage on the surprise room. My COVID yeah. quarantine. <laughs> The but the I watched a little bit of a clip from the movie and the movie looks so good, dude. The, it like with his son playing him, yeah. Yeah, but also like kind of like some of the junior stuff and then with ties to Chris. Yeah, and uh, uh, it's like his dad, like Chris's dad. I think isn't that, isn't that is like a character in that one, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and that's really interesting. Like and then it just ranged because we were so recently watching it. Like there's so many things to me that like, yeah. um, it makes it just it's crazy. Like it, it you because you think of things like oh how did Chris's dad die and you're like kind of see some stuff in there that like uh-huh. brings me into yeah. I gotta finish it one of these maybe maybe post tax season here we'll get I'll get into that back into that finish it um okay so we I kind of went too hard and I had to pull back and like I've watched too many of these in a row oh yeah yeah just why is that what do you th- why do you think that I, just, is? I just feel like I I thought it was overkill like I think I, I got to take a I got the, I think I got there's like season six two parts right I got to the first part I haven't finished yeah. the second part yet um. We're watching on Netflix, uh, Terrible Neighbors. Oh yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, we started. We, the, the lady that, that that killed the drifters and, and yes, and buried yes. in the backyard. That's insane. I'd, I'd seen that somewhere else. I'd seen that. There's another. There's like a, on some other crime show. I seen that before too. But I think sh- there's still more to come. Like there's other neighbors oh, yeah. that are really bad. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, this one's so bad. One, yeah, I just watched that one of that. Um, all right, let's get into some feel good stories. What time we at? Uh, a minute or an hour and seven. Woo! We gotta, we gotta uh, click a, this a, up. A minute seven, yeah. yeah. A minute seven. Oh my god. Um, endangered baby rhino in Czech Zoo is named after Kiev. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, and endangered. I mean, rhinos. If you can get a baby rhino, that's. Do you one know of, one of the parks got one? Yeah. No. No. Well, a baby rhino. They had a, they had a baby a couple of years ago, a year or two ago. That's awesome. Do you know they just had uh, the first baby cup or cub, like lion cub, in I think thirty or since the nineteen seventies. At Lincoln. At Lincoln, oh, Lincoln, nice. at, at Lincoln Park. They have a very yeah. nice new exhibit for them. Yes, yeah. So they brought these two together. Now that she has one cub, which is kind of weird because, like, in in the wild, they have like a lot Tons of cubs. Of, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's kind of cool. That uh, one better than none, right? That's true. Um, I'm trying to see here if there's anything that I wanted to. I did like this kind of thing. The uh, research makes a, a giant leap to produce affordable renewable hydrogen, um, and that probably goes to hydrogen like based. Cars. That's great. I have a funny story be, for that. That's yeah, that. hit me. Like, hit me. So I saw this video yesterday. I think it was. There was this guy that had converted his car to an, on his own to a natural gas, uh, like a natural gas producing vehicle. Okay. And so he's like, filling it up, and like I don't know if it's like a Menards or something. You get like the you can actually fill up the, the fill up your own propane, and the car literally explodes. No, is he in it? <laughs> no, he was outside of it. Oh. Two people, like the guy. It's like the one guy's like, hey, we're kind of what's up? You you your car there? And he's like, he's like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. 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 Hurt, but like the car like like boom um so one, one like Joe Rogan talks to this one guy I forget his name but he it's all about aging and um it's all about cause th- trying to figure out how to reverse the your cell like cause your cells age mm-hmm. and then th- those copy and then those copy and those copy this is the, this is the, this is the natural elixir right here the coolest yeah. light will keep us young um, forever and uh, resetting the clock and aging cells safely reversed signs of decline in mice. So that's like the first time they've been able to do that. He really thinks aging is, is a disease. And he's trying to figure out how to stop that in this stage. And then even reverse it. So that you go from like 70 back to like 30. It's an interesting thing though. Like would you, 
you know, because obviously, like, think about that. Think about reverse aging. That is like, you know, if you live forever, but like not everybody else around you do the same thing. Like, you will not have known. Like, you'll you'll be alive, and nobody else you will know eventually will be all be dead. It's kind of an odd thing, right? But a lot. Well, the, so the, what might could potentially happen is the only really way to die is if you get like hit by like a bus or shot or like murdered. Yeah. And then as you. But then we have like overcrowding populations, right? But then, the, the, and then that becomes: Do you want to populate? Like, do you have to have like a certain permit to? Have, yeah. Uh, it's 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 a, it's a very good conversation to have because naturally we're not supposed to be able we're not supposed to live forever. Yeah. But then then again, does that go to then us finding second planets because they've just sent a bunch of space out there to find. And they're looking at all. There's so many like Earth-like, like planets that could potentially could we. Yeah, I mean, we just should go with this one. Why not fuck up some more planets? Um, no, of course. I mean, <laughs> we've done a pretty good job fucking this one up. Once we have a nuclear war, we're gonna need another place to go to, anyways. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Breeding ground for sea turtles reports 500 percent boom in number of eggs laid. That's great because they don't they don't bang a lot, right? That's, no. that's, that's the thing with sea turtles. Like they they live forever, but they don't. They have a very low libido, I believe. Is the the, the medical term yeah they really don't like to bang like that one like the, they, that like, one yeah, yeah. that's enough of that they had those I forget the, the huge turtles in, in that one island Glopagos, and yeah. yeah and they, they they just couldn't get them to bang yeah they just did not want to bang um, this is kind of good uh, 30 minutes of lifting weights push ups or yard work weekly weekly may cut risk of death by 20% what do they define as yard work um, planting cutting grass um, probably not cutting grass that's, that doesn't take much effort well, no, but you gotta walk. So you're getting a sweat. And you're out in the heat. Very minimal. You know, up and down, kind of. I'm sure it's probably a little bit more than that. But probably, probably bigger than a city lot worth of grass cutting. I'm guessing. Um. Uh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Especially. <laughs> my like problem, mine now. takes me like five minutes to do five minutes to do mine. Uh, two thirds of Brits love the mood boost they get when doing something eco friendly. That sounds. That seems a little weird. They like so they feel good about doing eco friendly things. Yeah. So it just helps them, of course. I mean, but that's the thing that goes to the thought that you we should get out to nature more. Like you should take. Oh, a you're walk. saying like okay? I thought you meant like doing something like do like you recycled or like. Yeah, no, that too. That whatever. that too. Okay. Or like picking up trash and like outside. Um, yeah, I mean, I, but that I, that just goes yeah. to being outside. Yeah. Um, the perfect energy is ready here. Endless geothermal is poised for release from the deep of the earth. I don't know. That seems kind of weird. I feel like that you're opening a Pandora's box. There, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna open a hole and then the whole world's gonna freaking collapse into it. Um, all right, let's end on. We got two more. Well, Airbnb. I think we talked about this. Airbnb and the community has raised more than forty million for uh, Ukraine, like offering temporary housing. Yeah, because well, I thought uh, you know, are they, are they, I thought there were like people who were like, buying things in Ukraine that they could never visit anyways or whatever. It was like the deal. But, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of stuff about Ukraine, which is super nice. Other people are kind of. Um, that's. I mean. I don't think Putin's going to stop, and I think it's only going to get worse. Well, they talk about there's like I read some the conflicting reports. Like when they said like that there's kind of close to a ceasefire, and the other things like saying they're nowhere near a ceasefire. So I don't know. Well, he's got some ridiculous like wants. Yeah, yeah. Well, he doesn't want. He doesn't want. Them well, to no, no. Like he, if he, he doesn't if want they want to really end, the anyway. Yeah, if he wants this to end, like his like demands are Very pretty true. intense, and Ukraine's like, well, we're going to die holding this place. He wants to give like he wants like. Yeah. Like a third of the country to go back to Russia. Yeah, and like, oh yeah. shit, yeah. He's, I mean, but he's also shelling. Like, there's no tomorrow. Yeah, he's the, the, he's basically a war criminal. Yeah, yeah. He's shelling right. civilian targets on purpose. There, it was. Oh my god, this is the worst thing I've probably ever seen on YouTube. Is a guy was driving his car, saw a tank, pulls over, parks the car, puts his keys on the hood, puts his hands up. They get out of the tank, shoot him dead, and when well, it's when they when they, they and him. drag him off and throw him into and yeah, dragged him from. Shot him, hands up, shot him, dragged his body and threw him in the ditch and kept going. Yeah, I mean the one where they did the where they did the, that's where they found the maternity the maternity hospital. I mean that's yeah, the women. The, the a women. guy who immediately says, "I'm out," yeah. like I'm done. Um, and to end this lovely podcast, Patrick, um, and I think this is where I mean we started this podcast because of COVID. COVID is now less deadly than the flu in England, and there's a new variant, right? The the Delta Omicron emerging. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it is. They say they don't know. They then they don't really have any ideas on what how bad it's going to be or what it's going to be like. But well, I've already had Omicron, so I guess hopefully I can. Uh... But they're also talking. And I heard Pfizer's trying to. This scares me though. Pfizer's trying to get a fourth booster shot. Moderna, I saw already had one. Is trying to. It's going for approval on it. Yeah, and so is Pfizer. They're trying to push for that. And, and it's and like, I, all right, this I haven't got the third shot yet. So. Yeah, I'm good on that. But it is nice to hear that as mask. Requ- it's it's crazy. I don't know about you, but go to restaurants. Go to. Go to grocery stores. Go. And it's weird to be around people without masks. 
I, yeah, I, I go saw, in everywhere. I saw, I saw, and nobody's wearing masks. I still remind him when I go to grocery yeah. stuff. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why. It just feels right at this point. It just feels yeah. weird not to. Like, yeah. I get some weird person like open my business. We're like, at we're at Soul Cycle, which killed me today, and nobody's wearing masks, and we're so close like, to each other. Because said like she's like yeah. she still wears hers when she goes. Like she yeah. wears like the the temporary yeah. ones. I'm just gonna get. I'm just listen. If I'm, might as well get COVID and get it over with. Like that's for me. Like just just get it over with. I know some people have had worse situations with it, but um, maybe I just need to get it and get it over with. Then I get six months, and then you guys are gonna get it again, and I'll be clear and free. Or you're just lagging behind the trail, and you're gonna get it every other six months. <laughs> or maybe I'm just immune to it, Pat. Maybe in the badass. No, I, I said something. Kind of like Montgomery Burns. I said something. I, some, just... I said something similar to that, and then I got it. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. You kept asking for it. Uh, and on that happy note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on a beautiful. Actually, it's a really crappy Saturday night. That's yeah, gonna be cool. Um, weather's crap. You gotta love that every Saturday is this got we got the crap weather. But you know, any Wednesday, or, Wednesday or Thursday. And Sundays are nice too. Yeah, Sundays are pretty nice. Let's be nice tomorrow. 60 degrees, baby. We're getting there. Spring is in the air, ladies and gentlemen. So enjoy it. Get outside. That's actually one of the things really quickly is what I noticed. That, like, uh, I was out Tuesday or Wednesday, and it was, like, 70 degrees. I'm not even kidding you. People were nice. Like, people were just friendly. Like, cars were like, oh, yeah, come on, come through. Like, people were waving at each other. I don't know. I, I, Thursday, I had the guest. Oh, right here, so we didn't like, talk about that. Yeah. Where uh, we'll, we'll Willie that, Wilson, we'll, baby. We'll say that for another time. Because he's, he's throwing a million dollars. Well, listen, if you're, if you're uh, a S&P peer and you need some advice, Willie Wilson's still, and you're in Chicago. He's giving out a million dollars of gas this week coming up. Um, that's a lot of Good gas. luck. Get there early. Yeah. I mean, and just be prepared. If you have a full tank, wait to waste it to get another full tank. Yeah. Because that's what's going to happen. That's crazy. Um, check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Podcast S&P. You can reach us at the S&P Podcast at gmail.com. We uh, have a NCAA bracket. If you want to check it out and tell what people are doing, you can go to Yahoo. It's the Saturday Night Pregame Podcast Tourney. Uh, we are probably presented to you by DLM Tax and Accounting. Uh, you can check them out at uh, DLMTax.net. But unfortunately, I'm probably going to say at this point, if you need tax services, DLMTax.com. Oh, DLMTax.com. What did I say, net? Yeah. So, Emails the admin. Yeah, admin.net. And DLMTax.com. DLMTax.com. Uh, unfortunately, I'm probably at this point, you're going to get extended because uh, business is a boom because this podcast itself. Uh, enjoy your week. And uh, yeah, for that one, I'm going to end this on how we started it. Bye.